Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to see about the ways that we can embed JavaScript into our HTML. We have got three ways to do it. The first way being embedded, the second way being external, the third way being uh, inline. So we are going to see about all these and it is very important to understand this clearly because this is a very, very important question when you come to interview or when you go to examination, this question will certainly be there. So this session is going to pay a lot of attention on these three methods with examples uh, also to be shown to you right now. Now let's first start with embedded. Embedded is a very simple thing which we have seen already and all the scripts that I have taught you, I have designed till now is all through embedded approach. Whenever you include a JavaScript with a script tag, it is becoming embedded approach. We'll see a simple example so as to recollect whatever we have learned in the past and it is very simple. So whatever file we have uh, used already can be taken as reference and I don't think we need anything new there. So I'll just take some simple example. Um, say for example, um, something like property.html when I take. When we uh, go ahead and open it, I'll uh, show you the, the way the embedded has been used. Whenever you use string, you can see that now, view page source. Um, Cryptify I have used here, no I have not used it here. So we need to open something really which is going to be handy for us right now. So this should be okay I believe. Yeah, you can see that now script tag is there. I have got a script tag here. This is a simple example for how to use embedded way of including JavaScript into HTML. We have used this all along, all my examples till now, I tell you, all my examples till now are based on this. So the first one is concluded already. Let's go to the next set of things which would be much more easier for you guys to understand as well. The second way of using it is through the external method. What do you mean by external method? Simple. I have got a file that needs to be called which is available externally. So I will show you that file right now. I am opening that file. I have a file called as ext.js. This js is representing it as a JavaScript. So this is the JavaScript that I have got and the extension of the file is .js. Now I am going to call this file, this particular file in one of my other HTML files. How do I do it sir? Very simple. I am going to show you the code first then we will open with the HTML. Now you see that here I have got SRC option here. SRC is nothing but source. When I use SRC and when I mention the name of the file here, if they are in the same path, don't worry, you can just mention the name. If it is in a different path which you want to include, it definitely is mandatory for you to give the complete path. And then I have a button, button name is button as a value input and on click F2 when I click it, you, you will see the things happening right now. I'm going to just run it across for you. So let me open this external.html which has actually called the uh, script ext.js now there is a button called as input before that we will see the source this is the code whatever you have uh, you have been told right now you have been explained right now now you can see that i have got a link here for the file ext.js when i click that you can also see that, that this is the javascript that we have been talking about now i am going to click the input it is asking for that. That's it. This is not going to do any processing. This is just an example. So this very simple example where you understood how to use the uh, external way of handling things here. External way of including JavaScript into your HTML is what I taught you right now. Now the next one is going to be uh, pretty interesting where you will understand how exactly to use the inline way of handling it. I'm going to handle it via inline methods. So how do we do it? That's a very simple example that I'm going to show you right now. Uh, you can see that. Let me open the file so that you can easily understand it. Um, this is not a correct example, I think. One second. Let me close it and open the right one. Yeah, it's a very simple example that I have created. So inline is nothing but it's a very simple example where you are going to use some inbuilt inline inbuilt already available methods. So you can see that here on click, I have a, a function called as open win and inside this open win, I have got something called as, uh, you can see that here, I am opening google.com and on click close win, 
where I have got some function name called as close win and inside that I use a method called as window.close. This window.open and window.close are used in line here. That is what is the concept that you need to understand. We have used window.open and window.close in line. So how does it work sir? It's going to be very simple. I will show you the demo right now. I am opening it in the web browser. Open Google. It is opening Google right now. I don't have uh, best internet connectivity. That's a bit slow. So it's open now. Now I'm closing Google. The Google is closed. That's it. That's very simple. So you understood, right? Now, the next set of discussion is going to be with a very simple set of example again. Uh, it is on, uh, before that we'll ask a question, which tag is used to include .js file? Link, style, script are included. Obvious, script. That's what I taught you in the embedded method. Now, we have got even handlers available in JavaScript. On click, on blur, on change, on key down, on key press, on key up, on load, on unload. All these are the things that are available already with JavaScript. And I'm going to use a couple of this to explain you how exactly it works. It's a very simple example that I'm going to show you. Not a, a very tough one. So I'm going to first show you the code and then I will show you the way things work. Now I've got three functions here. First one is the function message. It is for on click. Second one is the message one function. It is for mouse over. Third one is the function message two. It is called mouse move. That's it. On click, I should call message. On uh, mouse over, um, I need to call message one. On mouse move, I need to call message two. That's it. Let's run it so that you will visualize it correctly. I'm opening it. Now when I click it, you got it. This is going to be on click. The method on click is used here. When I move the mouse over, it's mouse over. Mouse over is working. Mouse move. That's it. It's very simple. So in this session, I just gave you a brief note about what are all the ways you can include JavaScript into your HTML. It is embedded, inline and external. Embedded is what we do through script tag. External is what we use through SRC and inline we use through the available inbuilt methods. I have shown you examples for all those and then I moved on quickly to on on the uh, uh, event handlers. We call it event handlers and I have shown you a couple of examples like on click, on mouse move, on a mouse. Um, there, are, there are a lot of options available there. I really have shown you a table where you can try all these things on blur, on change, on key down, on press. That's it. It's a very simple exercise that I have told you today but uh, it's a very important exercise. If you have any questions, suggestions, inputs, please go ahead and uh, type it through in the comment section. And uh, I'm going to come back with uh, the concepts of DOM, the DOM hierarchy shortly in the next session. Thank you.